Hi, Andrew Morrison, back with another straw bale minute. One of the things that uh, people have started to notice in different parts of the world is that bale shapes are changing. Uh, basically, what that means is because we're moving into this mass uh, farming type of uh, culture, that small bales are becoming obsolete. We're seeing large, huge, round bales wrapped in plastic. We're seeing uh, mega bales, these you know one-ton bales. I mean, huge, huge things taking place out there. That's going to become difficult to, for us to build with. So really make sure that before you get into this process of building a straw bale home, you know where your source of bales is going to come from. Make sure that there's a local source, if possible, of small two-string or at biggest three-string bales to build with. Uh, I have heard of people building with jumbo bales, which are you know four feet by four feet by eight feet or something crazy like that. You need a crane to do it, and uh, you can imagine how thick your walls end up. Uh, that kind of insulation value is probably not warranted in most areas. So really make sure you can find the bales you need before you go through the whole process of designing and uh, creating something that is going to be hard to build because the only thing in your area is giant bales. Now I think we still have some time left with the smaller bales and in general the small farms, the local family farms are still using the, the old bale machines that will create those small ones. So that's a good place to start looking. Talk to you next week.